Hi, I'm Linda from Bailardi's Body Blitz. Welcome to Bounce Express Knees and Kicks. For today's workout, all you will need is a rebounder or mini trampoline. You can even do this workout on the floor if you wear correct footwear, but I suggest a rebounder just to keep it low impact. Now I'm going to be flowing all the way through for 15 rounds, 60 seconds of work for each round. There's not going to be any breaks, but if you need to take a break, just press pause and come back when you're ready. I'm not wearing footwear, but if you have weak joints, then definitely do so. But as I said, it is a low impact workout. We're gonna have lots of fun with lots of knees and kicks, just easy to follow. Go at your own pace. It's an interval based workout, which means that I'll just cue you when we're about to start the next interval. Take your time, but try to keep moving the entire time, okay? So we're gonna get started with just some knees. So I'm going to get you to start bouncing in place. Three, two, one. Now row your arms down and bring your knees up. Nice and easy. You're trying to bring your elbows down towards your waist. And I'm trying to kick my leg up really nice and high now. So my shin is almost parallel to the floor. Up and up. Nice soft joints. Your tummy's pulled in, your shoulders are down and back. And you're just having fun. Bouncing is always fun, right? It always lifts your mood, no matter what mood you're in. Building endorphins. Up and up. Really row down with those arms. You wanna use them dynamically. And you can breathe out as you raise that knee. 15 seconds. You're using your lower abs for all of these raises and kicks. So it's a total body workout. Seven, six. We're doing a knee and a back kick next. Changing sides. Three, two, one. So it's a knee and a kick. Knee and a kick. So you're leaning forward on that back kick. It's a knee and a kick. It's a knee and a kick. See how I'm leaning forward with a straight back and a kick. Bent arms, straight arms. Bent arms, straight arms. Knee and a kick. Knee and kick. Just keep going. Breathe. All the way up. Arms are strong. 28 seconds. Knee and kick. Squeeze your glute on that back kick. That's what it's for. And kick. Knee and kick. We're gonna do some fun side kicks next. 10 seconds to go. Just keep moving. Even if you have to lower your knees and kicks a little bit, don't stop. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna go side kicks with alternating arms up and down, side to side. So I'm tapping my hand on my thigh and we're really trying to keep our legs straight and our kneecaps to the front. So it's a fast pendulum side kick and you're getting some oblique action there as well. So really pull down those arms and feel your waistline squeezing. 29 seconds, side to side. Come on, in and in, really squeezing. Slightly lean to the side with your shoulders as you bring that arm down. 13, keep going. We're gonna stay on one side next, and we're going to do a knee on the one side and a side kick on the other one. So it's a knee, side kick. Stay on this side, side kick. Knee up, kick out. Knee up, kick out. So arms down, arms wide. Arms down, arms wide. Come on, side kick. Knee and kick. Point your toes, make it look pretty. 40 seconds, arms down and long. Really stretch through your fingertips here. And side kick, kneecap is to the front. Again, on that side kick. Feeling a bit of a stretch through your inner thigh as well. That's always a good thing, right? Dynamic stretching at its best. Breathe, breathe, heart rate is up now, right? 15 seconds, then we're just moving to the other side. Come on. Short and sharp, nothing tricky for the brain. Five, four, three, two, and one. So it's knee, kick on the other side. Come on, bring it up high and wide. 
one of your sides may be more flexible. That's totally normal. So you may not be able to get your leg up quite as high. That's okay. Just do your best. 40 seconds. Keep bouncing high in the middle there. Knee, kick, knee, kick. Long arms on that side kick. And breathe. 30 seconds. Keep going. 25. We're gonna do front kicks in a second. And we're going to do some insoles up with the front kick. And we're gonna stay on one side again, switching sides. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Try not to slow down, two, one. So we're gonna do an insole up, front kick. Insole up, front kick. Insole up, front kick. Insole, front kick. Arms chop across and then down. Chop across, down, across, down. Try to get that leg up nice and straight. Insole, kick. Opening up through the hip flexor and kick front. Dynamic arms. I can't stress enough that you need to use your arms here. It will help burn so many more calories for you. Front kick, 24. Front kick, insole, kick, insole, kick. Come on. Try and get it up higher now that you're warmer. 12, 11. See how I'm turning my knee out? That's what I'm looking for. Opening through the hips. Three, two, other side. So insole, front kick. Insole, front kick. It might take you a few, but once you have it, kick high. I'd rather you keep your legs straight than kick really high and start bending it, okay? But kick as high as you can to really get those lower abs involved. Insole, kick. Insole, kick. Arms are straight and strong. Really chopping across and down. Keep going. Bouncing, bouncing. And kick. 23 seconds. You can do it. Up. Keep going. All the way up. 13, 12. 11, 10. Just go. Even if you have to slow it down a bit or keep it a bit lower, just go. Three, two, one. We're going to go tap, tap, kick, and kick. Tap the outside, outside, kick, and kick. Tap, tap, kick, and kick. So this one's slightly easier, slightly lower. Tap, tap, kick, and kick. Tap, tap, maybe get your arms up higher here. Okay, maybe they're X arms or jack arms. Tap, tap, kick and kick. Really use that. Come on. 24. Tap, kick and kick. Tap, tap, kick and kick. Just keep going. Kick and kick. Tap, tap, kick and kick. Eight, seven. We're going to stay on one side and pull our knee across for waistline whistlers. So across and across, across and across, all the way across, across to the other side. Really try to stay low on the supporting leg so you are bouncing and feeling your quads, the front of your thighs, as well as your glutes. So I'm trying to stay a bit lower here and across and across, across the center line, and you're rowing your arms across the body, across and across, 27. Slightly hinging at the waist or the hips so that you have a better sense of balance there. 19, 18. So this one, I'm bouncing on my entire foot, not just my toe. 10 seconds and then we're switching it to the other side, seven, six. Across with those arms. Three, two, and one. Same thing. Across, across. Really up high. All the way across. 
twist your body. Keep bouncing. Stay a bit lower and lean forward a tiny bit with your upper body. Keep going. You can do this across, 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 across. We're doing a similar one next. We're gonna do a knee to side kick, but it's gonna be slightly angled towards the back. So not directly to the side, but about 45 degrees. Starting with the knee on the other side. 15 seconds, keep going. Come on. 10, 9, 8. Heart rate is high, sweat is flying. Five, four, three, two, and one. So it's gonna be knee and kick. Knee and kick. Knee and kick. So see how it's diagonal back. Knee and kick. Knee and kick. Diagonal back now. So it's a knee, but you're not lifting directly to the back. Definitely on a diagonal. Knee. Diagonal. So we did knee and directly to the back. And now we're doing diagonal back. So it's down, across, down, across. Falling forward slightly into this. As you bring your back leg up, you're falling forward. Knee and kick. Knee and kick. It always takes a few to get it right. And then you've got the flow and you can really get into it and practice your form. Eight, seven, then we're on the other side. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's a knee, fall forward, and back diagonal. Knee, back diagonal. So I'm slightly leaning forward again. Knee, and kick. Knee, and kick. Knee, and kick. Arms are strong. Really getting a high heart right now. These are intervals to the max. Knee, kick. So on the back there, your leg is turned out at about 45 degrees. Kick. Try and make it long. Knee and kick. Knee and kick. Come on. You can do it. 19 seconds. You can do this. I believe in you. Don't slow down. Maybe lower, but not slower, okay? Nine, eight, unless you really have to. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're doing front and back, front and back. Similar, but different. Front and back. It's like a front and back pendulum. Front, back, front, back. Now it's directly back, not on an angle. Kick front back. You need to lean to get your leg up higher. Squeeze your glute. It's front and back. Front and back. Bounce and get those legs as high as you can. And back. Front and back. Come on arms. Row those arms. 16, 15. You can do it. Up and back. Up and back, nine, eight. Other side after this, six, five. Up and back, three, two, and other side. Front and back, front and back. Falling forward, using in the entire width of your rebounder, front and back. Arms are strong. If your arms are too much, maybe lower, okay? And you can keep your kicks lower if you need to, but we only have two more rounds after this, so I really want you to go for it. Front, back, front, back. Come on, you can do this. We're gonna do fast insoles up after this. It's like a jog with insoles. So try and Save some breath for that, because they're tough. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's like a jog with an insole. Try to tap the inside of your heel each time. 
But if you can't, then just come as close as you can. See how high my knees are coming? Try to bring them up to about your waistline or hip line and don't bring your arm so far down that your knee doesn't have to come up. It's equal arms and legs. Knees up, arms down. Pushing down. Breathe. If you want to slow it down, you can do half time. Half time, half time. Okay? Second last round though. Nearly done. Actually, this is the last round. So I'm going to give you a bonus. Four, three, two, one. Just jog in place. I got the timing wrong. This was actually the last round. So I'm giving you this jogging bonus. Since you were already mentally prepared, get your knees up, knees up. Come on, as fast as you can, and then we're done. Breathe, 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 breathe. Keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, use your arms. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, bounce in place, high five. You are done, you completed it. Well done, that was not easy. Bounce Express, knees and kicks. See you at the next workout.